hello man i so appreciate you guys i so appreciate you guys coming back thank you there she is Can you see I me? see you What? I can <laughs> see you. Yay. Yes. So we got you. Thank you for hanging out. And like, okay, it was going to be like a couple. I didn't think the 15, 20 minute thing was going to work, but. <laughs> I mean, we know what it is. We know what it yes. is. Yes. And honestly, we really just want to hear from you guys. So I'm so excited to have Shaka Street. Did I say it right? Shaka Street? Yes. It's actually Chaka. Say it for me. Chaka. It's actually Chaka. Thank you. Yeah. And, th and that's why I asked because I'm a country girl from the South and if I don't short your name, I somehow mess it up. <laughs> no. I mean, a lot of people say Chaka. Okay. So. Well, thank you, lovely. So, um, yeah, we just kind of want... This is, I think, a lot of us first time seeing you. Like, we saw you guys and with the mask. So if you can kind of tell us a little <laughs> bit about you and tell us why you decided on this, you know, why you decided to go to this march. I mean, first of all, you got me going after Sierra, Sister Soldier. <laughs> yeah, Sister Soldier. I'm like, what is going on? Like, what is happening? Right. Um, so... Oh, about me. So my name is Chaka Street. I was named after Chaka Khan. Um, you know, so there's that. Um, I had to take out this earbud because it sounds crazy. Um, so I live right outside of um, D.C. in Prince George's County, Maryland. Oh, wow. um, yeah, so Basketball County is what um, Kevin Durant calls it. Yeah. Um, so, um, uh, what else? I am a twin, uh, the oldest of three siblings. Um, only oldest by seven minutes, though. Um, seven minutes, okay. That counts, though. Yeah, counts. yeah, it does, because they always call me first. You know, <laughs> my, my parents will always say, Chaka. I'm yeah. like, what about, you know, my sister's name is Chakia. So, um, fun fact about that, they didn't know that my, my mother didn't know she was pregnant with twins. So um, pretty much I was born. They was like, oh, it's a girl. And then seven minutes later, they were like, oh, it's another girl. <laughs> they were like, what? The what? They didn't have a mom. name or well, nothing. I love that. Um, so I work for a regional bank doing administrative type, type of work. Um, obviously, I love music um, and travel. And um, sometimes I get to freelance, um, do freelance videography for the local colleges. Oh, cool. We need to talk. I didn't see, I didn't know that. <laughs> awesome. And so was this your first March? And if, you know, and why this March? This was actually, um, would have been my second March. I actually didn't March this time. Um, because by the time I got down there, the, the plan activities had, had ceased. But I did get the opportunity to walk through the crowd, and it was similar to my first march, um, which was earlier this year, like our, after the George Floyd incident. Mm -hmm. And um, so it was similar in that you saw, um, you know, people from all backgrounds just basically out there saying enough is enough, like, you know, we're tired of this, things need to change. And, you know, that's why I felt the need to go down there because, you know, physically being there, um, you know, I think it's an impact when people watch the news and they, see, and they see the crowds and tons of people there and they're like, oh man, you know, this is really important. We should take notice versus, you know, 10 people protesting, not saying it doesn't make an impact. But, you know, it, it, you know, you see 10 people and you're like, oh, you know, nobody's really with that cause, but you see hundreds and hundreds of people, then you really have to think about, man, what's going on, you know, mm -hmm. and you have to look into it and see, 
why people feel so passionately and why people of many backgrounds are joining in for the same cause. Yes. And was there, um, I'm sure there were many, but was there a specific moment like, and you know, now that you've been back, um, you know, a couple of days, a couple of weeks, is there anything that kind of stuck out in your mind like about that experience in DC? Um, first of all, if pe if for the people who never protested, protesting is hard, okay? Um, it's it's not like you were just walking down the street and and that's that. Um, we in the quarantine, you got these quarantine bodies, um, you know, for a lot of people like me have been in an air conditioning environment. We haven't been outside, we haven't experienced the bugs. <laughs> um, and then you're uh okay. wearing a mask in the heat chanting, protesting, holding a sign, um, walking for miles. It's, it's, not, it's not easy. It's not easy. And, you know, um, the, fir the first time I didn't make it all the way back, I needed to ride back to the other side. And I just think about, um, you know, as we uh, think about the march, uh, was com commemor commemorating the 50, I think it was the 57th year. Mm -hmm. um, and you just think about the people who were in the civil rights movement and they had polyester suits on yes. and they had heels on, you know, and the robe may, had, may not have been paid. And, you know, they didn't have the convenience of calling Lyft to get back to the other side or get back to their house. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it just puts you in a, sp in a in a place as you think about it, that man, like this is deep, like it's not, it's not, um, it's really serious. Like it's not something to take for granted. Like these people really fought for what they believe in and they mm -hmm. fought for change. And, you know, we're going to have to fight as well. Maybe, um, not in the same way that they did, but we're going to have to fight. And so um, just thinking about, you know, where do I fit in in that um, space? Um, you know, as a person of faith, you know, how does my faith inform how I act in terms of, you know, the, polit the political arena? Um, you know, it, it tells me that I'm supposed to love, it tells me that um, you shouldn't kill. It tells me that, you know, I'm supposed to act a certain way. So thinking about how I can insert that into whatever part that I'm going to, you know, that God wants me to play. It may not be, you know, taking on a political role like Sierra, but it may be, um, you know, helping out those causes that are for, you know, justice. Um, and, um, you know, raising, raising my hand when something isn't right. Yes. And so I'm, I'm, I've just been really thinking about that since I've been home. It's like, you know, Lord, what do you want me to do? Um, I believe that, you know, you should pray and fight, um, um, you know, I, I think that Jesus did both, you know, um, he, he didn't stand for injustice, you mm -hmm. know, he was for, he actually did something, yeah. you know, um, about those, um, who were treated differently, the Jews, you know, he loved the, the unlovable. And so I, I, I think that, um, you know, the, the challenge for me is to, um, educate myself um i didn't come from a family who did volunteer work and who went out to protest and who w was in that space even though my father did attend the hbcu yeah. so i feel like i'm starting from the beginning and and just finding out about voting rights of, of finding out about um, 
organizations that um, call attention to, um, you know, mass, the mass incarceration issue. Learning about what is, um, you know, what is the ally, you know, those terms that people use yeah. in the political arena all the time, like, what, what does that mean? You know, looking that up and, um, y- you know, reading about history and um, because they're trying to rewrite history all the time. Mm-hmm. So reading about history, reading, um, you know, visiting the monuments. I, I just recently went to the lynching memorial and just learning about that and and realizing that every column, you know, there was multiple names and those names are people and so all of these people were were lynched and you know we have people to say that it didn't happen or you know don't worry about that or oh we just need to pray yeah. and so um you know so it's it's been a, a lot of kind of thinking about like all of these things and even you know, in, in light of some of the believers who vote for Trump, it's just like, you know, you said earlier, like a lot of people vote on one issue, uh, mainly abortion. Yes. But they don't, they don't look at the character of the person. You know, Donald Trump can claim all day that he's a Christian, but we see his character and yes. it doesn't line up with what the Bible says a Christian's character should be. So just kind of thinking, having, you know, thinking outside of the box to say, I've been hearing this all the time, um, or I, I've I've been hearing that, you know, the Democrats, you know, vote Democrat, just everybody Democrat. And um, even in, in my, um, in my area is predominantly African American. So Everybody on the ballot is black. So it's not like, you know, some areas where you, oh, there's one black person, vote for them. Right. You know, so that's where the research just, just what'd you say? I said, that's where the research comes in, right? So it's like, right. regardless of the color, what is, what are they, what do they stand for? What can they affect? Right. right. What are they, yes. Right. But I so mean, that's I, been I, something that, that's new for me too. Just, um, you know, we doing the research, seeing who's on the ballot. You know, some of the information is difficult to find. Um, but, you know, you try to do the best you can with what you have and, and make the decision that you feel is going to help not only you, but your community too. No, I love that. This is so beautiful because you sharing that. And when I think about you, you guys getting together, um, how it's like you said, different experiences and different perspectives. And so you shared your perspective as a Christian and looking to say like, so what now, what, you know, how do I, how do I move forward now? And looking at how we're supposed to treat people and what's happening in the world. So I think that's great too, because I think as we think about the people who've joined here, joined on the live and the people in the community, that it's good to see that people have different you know, experiences with whether they're families, yeah. whether they were families who marched, whether they're families like, I'm just learning this now. And then we had the perspective of Brian, who's a father, who's teaching his sons and taking his family and having a show. This is why we protest. But I also liked in the beginning how you talked about you said something has to change. And being in that march, you knew that you wanted to go and stand for that and to stand for justice and to say, we need to make these changes. Um, And so I guess, and so how would you like to like kind of, you know, kind of share with people what you would say like your next, your next step would be. And you did share that you're researching, that you're learning kind of what's going on. Have you in, um, and just kind of looking at the candidates, um, current candidates and locally or, um, you know, Biden and Harris, have you kind of researched and find, found things that you're like, yes, this is, this is encouraging. And this is also what I'm looking to, um, what I'm also looking to support. That's a loaded question. It is. It is. So, okay. So um, I will share for me, like one of the things, um, you know, I heard 
a lot about. Um, so for me, I heard a lot about um, Harris, right? A lot about her experience. And one of the things when there were several candidates, because we were kind of out there saying, yes, we definitely feel this is a time for a Black woman. And with Harris, it was not like, a perfect fit in the beginning because of her history, right? So for me, um, you know, I was excited because I was like, she's experienced. This is a woman who's, first of all, we can say she's experienced. She, some of the things in her past. So I started looking at some of those things and I'm like, but now we really, what's the first thing? We really have to look at how do we move forward? And part of moving forward now for me is yes, these two people are experienced, Biden and Harris, but now to me it's a human interest that we have to get him out because of like, to your point of being a Christian, how people are treated, just the decency of it. So, um, you know, one of the things, so that, so that was a tough one because I think one of the things, there were other um, candidates that we were looking at, but this is who we have. And I feel that the candidates we have are experienced and that we can get them in office and hold them accountable and move the needle forward to getting the local, to getting the things that we want to change. So that's, that's kind of- I agree. So when, so when I was asking you that question, I was also just kind of thinking about me as I was going through and kind of hearing people um, and, 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 and men kind of, I honestly, for me, I think the first, um, the first day that she was announced, it was a couple of lives that talked about her experience. And I'm like, can we move forward? And I believe Brian was on there too. And we're like, can we move forward? Can we move forward? So can we move forward? So how do you, um, how did your family like feel like when you came back and shared your experience? Were they excited and they, you know, were you able to kind of share some of the experience you had at the march? Um, hmm, I think my sister's on here, so she should type how she feel. Um, <laughs> I, I, I think, um, you know, I think it really goes back to everybody has to do something, but people have different lanes to run. So as long as we're moving towards the right direction, then th that's what we want. So although, you know, I attended a couple of marches, my sister didn't attend. However, her lane may not be attending marches because it's like I said, it's hard, mm -hmm. um, difficult to march, but you know, she she um is a very good researcher so her skill may be in like what you said like researching the candidate right. and then just um giving out that information to us to say did you know this did you know that did you know this so um i think that they um are happy that i was able to do it um a couple of my cousins said that they wish they could be there um, they would be there if they could get off of work or whatever. Um, but I think the best thing that I would say is um, that people of faith need to be involved in, 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 in some way. Because we see in uh, the civil rights era, era, you know, it was Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King. And so uh, I think that we... Um, People of faith have have a, a unique opportunity to deal with the person's heart as well as change the laws. And I think a lot of times we stop we stop at dealing with the person's heart. Mm -hmm. But we need to realize that if we change the person's heart and the person gets shot, is that really the goal? We want the person to live an abundant life, to have as much as they can while they're here on earth. So, you know, That's so great. There, there's been, you know, some some people of faith that say, you know, if we shouldn't be, we shouldn't be involved, or if you want to march, that's up to you, but, you know, we, we just gonna pray. And so I think that we have what, what can uniquely move the needle forward. In, in terms of like having that moral compass, having the 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 solution to the problem, um, the the problems that are you know going on, and so we we need to get involved. So, um, you know, in whatever way 
whatever way the Lord leads you to get involved, like, you know, many people were saying earlier, yeah. you know, you know, vote, um, volunteer, um, you know, uh, join organization, um, you know, do something. Yes. That is such a great perspective. Thank you. And so I did, I guess, um, so, so you ended on that, but I kind of also wanted to ask just when you guys first um, met up, I know um, Brian kind of touched on it a bit. And so to Sierra, what was that like experience, like having, um, you know, meeting, meeting in CQ and then you get to a march, something so pivotal in our lives and support, you know, that, how, what was that feeling like kind of getting together and seeing each other before you guys went live with us? It was really cool. Um, so like back in the early 2000s, I had a similar experience with just meeting a whole bunch of people online um, because, um, well, there was a group of people. I caught it. Uh -oh. Okay, I got it. <laughs> um, there was a small group of people that um, were into Christian rap. Mm -hmm. So we all met up. Um, on the, you know, via the internet, and then as, you know, some of the artists toured and did different things, we would pull up at the city and be like, hey, you know, who who all live here? And, you know, we would go and meet up. So it felt very familiar in that way. Um, I, I didn't have any hesitation when um, Brian put the call out that he was going. I was like, I forgot about the march. But I was like, I'm finna pull up, you know, I'm, I'm, <laughs> let, me, let me see what's going on. So, um, you know, I was able to get off, like I said, in a previous live. And when I met up with them, it's like, you know, we've been rocking together for what, five months for, at, the, at this time, like yes. just getting to know each other through the chats and the comments and stuff. So it was like, oh, Brian, Sarah, <laughs> like, what's up, you know? Um, and so that was pretty cool because it just, we just clicked. We just fell together. It was just like a con a continuing conversation. Like I saw you yesterday in, you know, in the live, in various lives. And now I'm seeing you in person, but I feel like, you know, you're a cousin. Like, you know, I, I, I've been knowing you forever. So that was pretty cool. I didn't know that we were going to do the live, but it was pretty cool. I mean, it's, it's moments that you look back on and you say, where were you in 2020 in in the midst of, you know, a pandemic? Yes. And it's like, I was with my peaks, my CQ peaks. <laughs> um, I was protesting, you know, I was doing lives, you know, in the midst of, you know, tragedy and, you know, all of the bad things that have happened. I could say, like, I got this family, you know, I am you know, continuing to grow in, in areas that I didn't know um, that I needed to grow in. So it was pretty dope. It that's, was pretty dope. That's so cool. Thank you. And so uh, do you have like any last like words of encouragement, inspiration for, for folks to um, in, in voting, getting out to vote, take a young person with you? <laughs> I, I would just say like, you know, part of, like I said earlier, part of what I'm doing is trying to um, educate myself and so that, you know, I'm, I'm informed in my actions. So um, some resources that I, I use, um, if, if anybody knows about the Libby app, L-I-B-B-Y, it's an app that you can get and you can link your, um, your library card and you can borrow books on the app. So they have books that you can read as well as listen to audio books. So you you know some the selection, you know they don't have everything, but you can find some bestsellers. You can find some history books all for free. You just need to you know get a library card and you can borrow a book. Awesome. Um, next door, next door. Some people I saw someone was on next door, but the app next door is an app that um, you can use to chat with people in your neighborhood. It's a great way to share um, information. Um, so you can, oh, you know, what, what was they doing up the street? You know, somebody, somebody nosy is going to see what they were doing up the street, and they're going to type it in on the app, say, 
somebody got shot or they want to say, um, you know, hey, um, a lot of the information that I share about the food giveaways come through the Nextdoor app. Okay. And so it's a community that you can, you know, your people in your community and you can, um, you know, some of the stuff is hilarious, Ali. Um, they be like, I found your dog and he got out again. Oh, no. Um, but... <laughs> But some of the some of the stuff on there is really good, you know. Um, they um, said, you know, oh, they about to pass this bill, and they didn't tell nobody. Tell you know, write your senator or write your congressman, and so it that's a way that you can get involved um, as well. And um, you know, just check out um, uh, organizations like the Ant Campaign. Um, they believe um, in voting. Um, not you know Democrat or Republican, but basically on the issue, and and they also you know have a is faith based, so they believe that is both Jesus and justice, and you know I'm rubbing a shirt from Just, uh, Just Mercy. A lot of Mercy, yes. people saw that movie. Yes. Um, Equal Justice Initiative is another organization that you can look to look look up. It has some great information about um, having justice. Get, getting justice for incarcerated, wrongly accused, incarcerated individuals. And I think that, you know, it's important to look up these things because um, if you are coming from a place of privileged, even like I'm privileged in a sense because my, my father is a college graduate, I'm a college graduate, um, I live in a uh, quote unquote wealthy black county. But um, I think that it's easy to kind of be removed from some of those things. But when you look it up and you say, man, like I'm listening to the book Just Mercy on audiobook, and you hear about the stories of people being wrongly incarcerated, um, you learn about the history and, and different things against black and brown people. And so that kind of you know, gives you a, a meter to say, man, like, you know, people really out here, you know, of course we know people out here getting shot before they um have due process. But people that do get due process are being put in prison for life when they really have a mental health issue that yes. needs to be addressed. So it, it's like, you know, it's if, if you want to... Right. If you want to stoke the fire and really want to know what's going on out here, you know, look up those things. Look up those things that are important to you. It may be abortion. You know, it may be homelessness. And then, you know, help use that to um, propel you into some action. Thank you. Those are great resources. I would like to um, pull those together um, from the conversation, just reach out to you. And um, some of the, like, you know, different um, also uh, recommendations, advice that Brian, Sierra, and you gave. So I would like to kind of share that with this group. So I'll pull it all together and, and share it. All right. Thank you. Bye, CQ fam. Thanks so much. I'm going to try to have a good one. Let's see. Let's see.